Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Saturday, so it means it's grocery haul time and I have a massive, and I mean massive grocery haul for you. It is my Costco stock up week. I spent a lot at Costco, but I haven't been in almost a month and a half. Actually, it's been pretty close to a month and a half. So we were out of a lot of our staple items. Plus I found some really, really great new things at Costco. And then I went ahead and did a Walmart grocery pickup as well. So I have a huge grocery haul for you today. If you're excited for today's video, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. It kind of lets me know that you enjoy these grocery hauls and to continue to keep doing these every single week here on my channel in 2021. And if you're not yet subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead and join us. We'd love to have you. Hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Check out that description box down below for my brand new custom 2021 calendar that you can customize to you. Set your own goals, track those every day, every week, every month. It's such a great calendar. It even includes a little inspirational quote every month to keep you excited and motivated. So you can pick that up down in the description box for $15 and free shipping within the United States. If you're outside of the United States, shoot me an email and I'll let you know what the additional shipping charge will be. My email is also in the description box. You'll also find my nutrition coaching website where you can order personalized to you macros and calories really important you guys moving into the new year you have to know your plan before you can be successful so make sure you have your macros and calories available to you so you can work towards those in the new year I also offer 30 and 60 minute coaching sessions if you just need a little more one-on-one -on -one help and motivation I'm happy to help you in a one-on-one -on -one session you can find all of that on my nutrition coaching website. You'll find links, discount codes to my favorite things and my Facebook group, another community that we would be honored to have you in. Head on over and join us there. So we have a huge, and I mean huge grocery haul, so let's jump in. of this massive grocery haul. Everything you see here is from Costco. The only thing not pictured is a case of Diet Coke for Troy, but this was my Costco haul. I spent just over $500 and we are stocked up. It's actually been a month and a half, a little over a month and a half since I've been to Costco. So it is time to pick up some staples and not to mention that I found some really fun new things as well. Of course I restocked my paper towels and down below that is toilet paper. We were really well stocked at my Costco which is great because I'm almost out of both of these items. When I was looking for a few other items in the skincare makeup section I saw this on clearance for eight dollars. This is the Real Her Makeup That Empowers Girl Power Moisturizing Lipstick. So this actually came with a lipstick, a lip gloss, a lip liner and this really cute case for nine dollars. They had this really pretty pink color and then they also had a red color so I thought I would get this just because it's a little bit more neutral you can't beat nine dollars if you can find this at your local Costco and I'm gonna say sorry in advance for any background noise we are still remodeling our bathroom and they're working away today I also picked these up because they were on sale these are the oven baked parm crisps in everything bagel oh my goodness these sound so good I loved this 13 grams of protein per serving, one gram of carb, zero sugar. These are great to add to salad. They're great as a snack. You can dip these into your favorite queso or dip. They were really affordable, less than $6. So I picked those up. And then this is actually a new find for me at Costco. I walked by when I was getting my vitamins and saw these and had to get these. These are the Chalk XO Organic Keto certified kosher and gluten free almond butter cups. They are made with 56% cacao and they are 80 calories and only five grams of sugar per peanut butter cup. So I'm excited to try these. I'm hoping that these are a pretty good dupe for Reese's. There's 30 of them and they were only, I believe like $8.99. So not a bad price at all. I also picked up TurboTax. As always, this is what I use to do my taxes every year. This is the home and business edition. Best price at Costco. I've looked online. I've been on TurboTax's website. If you can score this on sale, it's the best price. 
price. This was $64.99. I think it was $10 or $20 off. So not a bad price at all. No surprise that I restocked my La Terrafina dip. I almost got two because these are on sale for $5.99 through the end of January. I talked about this in my top 20 foods for 2021. If you haven't seen that video, it just was released on Thursday. I'll link it down below for you. But this dip is the best. You can have two tablespoons for 50 calories and one point. I would be willing to go back to Costco just for it. That's how good this dip is. So I picked that up. Restocked our heartburn medicine. I usually buy two packs. That's enough to last us for a month, a month and a half. The Costco brand is just as good as the name brand Prilosec and it's $12.99 for 42 tablets, which is a really, really good price. Monk fruit sweetener, Lakanto has been out on their website. So I just picked it up while I was at Costco. Another staple for me, I love Lakanto products and their monk fruit sweetener is my all time favorite. You know how much I love kombucha. So of course I had to pick this up because it was on coupon, $8.99 for six bottles, which is a really good price. I like hum kombucha. I prefer GTs, but hum is pretty good. This is three blueberry mint, three mango passion fruit. If you are scared of kombucha, this is a good one to start with because it's definitely less vinegary, a little more sweet and more carbonated than GT. So this is a good starting point to get really on the kombucha train. So if you have a Costco, $8.99 for six bottles. This is the lotion Troy likes and this was on sale. And whenever it's on coupon, I always pick it up. You get two large containers and one small for $10. And normally I pay $10 for one of these at Target or Walmart. So if you like Cetaphil products, they're all on sale right now at Costco. A restock of my makeup wipes. I still have a couple packs, but I always just like to pick these up to have them on stock. I love these. I like these much better than Neutrogena. I find them to be more moisturizing and they're a little wetter so they take off your makeup a little bit better. Love them and $12.99 for a ton. I think it's 180 wipes. You can't beat it. Of course, Diesel and Lola get stuff from Costco. These were new. I've never seen these before. Nature Nas. Choosy Paws Chew Nature Nas. So these are just beef dog chews. It's a combo pack. 18 count. You get bully sticks, jerky chews, and tripe twists, all of which are made from 100% beef. They're also all natural, which I love. If you didn't know, Diesel and Lola cannot have chicken or grain. So I have to be really selective on what treats and raw hides and bones and things I give them. So I picked those up. And then we've picked these up before, these farmland tradition dogs love beef jerky treats. They're these little rounds. They love these and they're grain free, soy free, corn free, and they're made from 100% beef. There is no added chicken. $19 for this huge bag. It's 40 ounces is a killer price. So they got a couple of treats this trip to Costco as well. I saw this on coupon and I had to get it. I've actually never tried this, but this is a mercury safe, safe catch ahi wild fin tuna. These are packs and the whole pack has 26 grams of protein and only 110 calories. So I thought this would be a great snack. You could just pop in a little mayonnaise. You could eat it just plain. You could top a salad with it. It was on coupon for a killer price. So I picked it up. And then I also restocked my vitamins because I'm just about out. And these were also on coupon, I believe $9.99. And these are the women's energy, metabolism, and bone support. I decided to get some Canadian bacon because I haven't had any in a while. And there's 10 grams of protein in three slices. So I thought this would be great to fry up with some eggs for breakfast. And it's only 60 calories and 10 grams of protein, which is a great ratio of protein versus calories. And then also I picked up the Applewood smoked bacon for Troy. He wants BLTs next week. And this was $15.99 for two pounds of extra thick bacon, which is a great price. A restock of minced garlic. We are just about out. One of these lasts us a couple of months. We, we love garlic apparently, but this is less than $5. So it's a great price. Of course, I restocked my Primal Kitchen mayonnaise with avocado oil. We have been out, so we've been just using light mayonnaise, and I really prefer, definitely for myself, but even for Troy to have the Primal Kitchen mayo. This was a closeout item for $6.99. It's Nona Pia's balsamic glaze. Now, I really like balsamic glaze as salad dressing because it's low calorie. It puts a little sweetness in your salad. I mix it with some oil, salt, and pepper. It's delicious. So I picked this up because, again, salads, chicken, you can really put balsamic glaze on just about every 
everything. Right, Laughing Cow was also on sale for $4.99 for four packs. That is such a fantastic deal. I had to pick that up. Restock of Troy's meat sticks for his lunches. He loves these. He really, really loves these. $14.99 for the entire pack, which is such a great deal. And then kind of hiding down here is bounce dryer sheets. We always buy our dryer sheets at Costco. It's the best price. $10 for two boxes. Troy uses Dove soap and this was on coupon for $11.99 for 16 bars. I pay $9 for nine bars or I'm sorry, eight bars. So that is a really, really good deal. And then underneath there is vanilla premier protein for Troy. You know that I don't drink premier, but he has to have it for vitamin K for his blood thinners. So he enjoys the premier shake. So I picked that up. They are on coupon for $19.99. Chips for Troy's lunch. I always buy this 54 count at Costco. It's such a great deal. $15 for 54 bags of chips. It lasts him a couple months for his lunches. And then I also picked up these Arm & Hammer Essential Dis Disinfecting Wipes. There's two packs of lemon and two packs of Renewing Rain. These are the only disinfecting wipes in Costco. And they were not on sale. They were $20, which I don't think is bad. But I use these to clean bathrooms, wipe handles off, just for disinfecting in general. So I'll let you guys know what I think of the Arm & Hammer brand. And then I have a big stack of clothes because there were a ton of great clothing deals at Costco. This little jacket is a Dan skin that I picked up for myself. It was $12.99 on coupon. Also picked up a pair of Maddie M all day leggings. So these are a nice thick legging. I like to wear these with knee high or thigh high boots in the winter. An Adidas shirt for Troy. These are $8.99 for men. You cannot beat that price for an Adidas shirt. I also grabbed some Jessica Simpson kind of jogger style of pants. I'm actually planning on wearing these more for pajamas, so I picked those up. I love the Buffalo brand. I actually have their camo sweatshirt and their black with stars. These were still at Costco, and this one is so cute. It's red with these little pink hearts, so I thought that was perfect for Valentine's Day, and they're just a really comfortable, soft sweatshirt, and I believe it was $12.99. And last but not least, I picked up some pants, and these are actual pull-on, kind of like jegging type of pants. They're black. These are these Skechers Go Walk pants, so they're more like a dress pant, but they're pull-on, and they have a nice pocket in the back, kind of the boot cut. And these were on sale, I think for 10 or $11. So not a bad price at all. So lots of clothes this trip to Costco. So that is my massive Costco stock up haul. This should last us anywhere from a month or two. And then of course we don't go through everything, but we do end up going through the majority of what we buy every Costco trip. So now we have more to do. Let's do the Walmart grocery haul for the week. Part two of this week's grocery haul from Walmart Pickup. I ended up getting all my produce and everything for all of my recipes for the week. So let me show you part two of the grocery haul. Coke Zero, because every once in a while, I like to have a Coke Zero. This 24 pack will last me at least a month, if not longer. This is my favorite creamer, pretty much that Coffee Mate makes. This is the Funfetti. It is literally birthday cake creamer. It is so delicious. So I picked that up because I'm pretty low on my coffee creamer. I needed half and half for a recipe, so I picked up the Organic Valley Grass Milk Half and Half. This is incredible, and it is not much more expensive than regular half and half, and there's a big difference in the quality, so I picked that up. Lots of ground beef because we were down to one pound, so they did not have their three pack I normally buy, so I ended up buying four one pound packages of the grass fed grass finished 93% ground beef this is the best deal ever at Walmart so I always get my ground beef from there and then I actually ordered that large bag of the Applegate chicken and maple sausages that I picked up in a grocery haul a few weeks ago they didn't have it so they substituted for this little tiny package it's just funny sometimes the substitutions because you would think that they would give me several packages to equal the big package but that's okay I actually only need this for my meal prep for breakfast so this package should actually do the trick and then we did get this in a substitution before and this is the best cheese sticks ever they are so delicious they're individually wrapped we love them so I decided to just go ahead and order them this time if you love Colby Jack cheese this one I don't know what it is about it but it's so good a restock on our can't believe it's not better for Troy he goes through quite a bit of this actually and then I needed coarse ground kosher salt for a recipe this was the smallest container they have I don't usually use kosher salt I'm more of a pink salt or Celtic salt person but 
This will come in handy for recipes. And again, it was the smallest container that Walmart had. Troy wanted roast beef sandwiches this week for his lunch. So I picked up a pound and a half of deli roast beef and he is still on his cheese and cracker kick. So I ordered these salami rounds. These just make cheese and crackers so easy. And actually I eat these a lot because the points are not too bad on these. The private selection brand from Kroger is better points and calories. So I, these are a little bit higher, but they're still really good and easy for cheese and crackers. Crackers. A couple boxes of beef broth for a couple different recipes. I have zero beef broth, so this should get me through the week. And then I needed the Bisquick Heart Smart Pancake and Baking Mix for a recipe. This one's great because it has better ingredients and it's lower calories and points. You can use it for biscuits or pancakes, you name it. Just anything that you would use baking mix for, this one comes in handy. Just saves you a few calories and points. The Cracker Cut Cheese Tray for choice meat and crackers. Again, this just makes it really easy as well. Much more affordable at Walmart than Kroger. I think this was less than $5 and I believe I pay about seven at Kroger. Cheddar cheese for his roast beef sandwiches for the week. And then a big bag of light shredded cheese for recipes and for lunch prep. Two pounds of 99% ground turkey just to stock up. I don't have any ground turkey left. So I went ahead and picked up two packages. Potatoes for dinner recipes as well as for some lunches this next week. And everything else I have is produce. Big bag of lemons. I actually ordered organic. They didn't have them. So they just substituted with regular lemons which is fine. A bag of frozen carrots. This is actually for a dinner recipe. Green onions for salads and a dinner recipe. And two packs of organic sliced mushrooms. I need a lot of mushrooms this week for recipes. So that's everything that I picked up from Walmart for this next week. So let's jump into my meal plan and meal prep. So here's this week's meal plan. Can you even believe we are in the first week of 2021? It's pretty darn exciting. So this is the week of one, two through one, eight. Saturday, we'll probably go out for dinner or lunch or something. We do have quite a few errands to run today. So we'll probably pick up something while we're out. Tomorrow, I'm going to be making shrimp and cream sauce with pasta. You will see this recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So stay tuned for that. Monday, I'm keeping it simple. We're doing a one pan chicken dinner bake. This is everything in a dinner in one pan, which is amazing. Tuesday's always a leftover night because it's a jazzercise night. Wednesday, I'm doing beef tips with mushroom gravy. We have a ton of red meat. We did get our butcher box. And then my mom actually got us an Omaha steak box for Christmas. So we have meat coming out our ears. So we're going to do beef tips with mushroom. Thursday, I'm going to make an instant pot recipe, a sausage and rice, kind of like a spin on jambalaya. And then Friday, of course, we'll do leftovers because chances are we'll have quite a bit of leftovers from these recipes earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So definitely stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. For breakfast, I'm doing a crustless breakfast quiche muffin. So this is quiche and a muffin rolled into one like they had a baby. And I'm really excited for this. It sounds incredible. For lunches, I'm doing a one pot creamy French onion pasta. I've been craving like French onion soup or French onion pasta. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for lunches. And then for dessert, we're doing an edible cookie dough. Actually, Troy wanted this. I said, what do you want for a sweet treat next week? And read him off a few recipes and he picked the cookie dough. So we're doing a WW friendly, low calorie edible cookie dough. So definitely stay tuned Monday to see these three recipes. Thank you again for joining me on this week's WW Massive grocery haul. I hope that you found some new food ideas and definitely check out these specials they're having at Costco. Really good prices on some new exciting things. I also hope you're excited for meal prep coming out on Monday so definitely stay tuned for that video. If you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up. Again it lets me know to keep putting out these grocery hauls that you like seeing these and it helps you with food ideas for your journey. Also if you haven't yet subscribed again we'd love to have you hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded. I upload five to six times a week so you don't want to miss out not to mention lots of fun stuff coming these first couple weeks of the new year. Don't forget to check out the custom calendar down in the description box as well as nutrition coaching links and discounts to my favorite things and of course my Facebook group head on over and join us. Happy Saturday my friends and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!